Hello everyone. Welcome to this short voiceover presentation to explain to you what is the methodology we are going to adopt in the ideation event on enhancing accessibility, accountability and affordability of healthcare in the state of Uttar Pradesh, India. As you know, this ideation event is due on Sunday, November 25th, 2012 from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. and this has been very graciously supported by Sahara India Parivar. The ideation event has been conceptualized and has been brought to life by the joint initiative of the Association of Knowledge Workers Lucknow and the LASIP Society. My name is Rajan Johari and I am going to take just a few minutes of your precious time in explaining to you what the event is all about. I'm now going to share with you the slides of the presentation. So I'd like you to have a look at slide number two which says that the objective of this event is to identify issues and challenges in the existing healthcare ecosystem in the state of Uttar Pradesh. And the three themes as we had mentioned to you earlier is accessibility, affordability and accountability. The format of this ideation event is round tables. As you see on your screen there are three major themes divided into six round tables and each of the six round tables will have six members. So in all we will have 36 active round table participants. The blue table as you see on the left of your screen is the affordability panel and the table will talk about cost. Similarly at the same time another table looking at affordability will talk about volume. You see in the middle of your screen the accessibility panel which will talk about expanse and a similar panel will talk about depth and third on the right hand side of your screen the accountability panel one table will talk about patient satisfaction the other one will talk about support services and leadership. Now as the first round of these tables is over, the tables and the participants will shuffle and therefore the table that earlier discussed affordability as cost will now discuss affordability as volume and the table that discussed volume will discuss the other perspective which is the cost. Similarly, expanse will discuss depth and depth will discuss expanse. Patient satisfaction will discuss support services and leadership and vice versa. The reason why we are doing this is because we will one have a rich merger of multiple perspectives from each of the tables. At the same time we also converge to looking at on one theme area the key most important perspectives that emerge at the end of the ideation event. The question that comes in our minds and I've been asked often is that what is the need for such an ideation? Well the methods of actually doing ideation vary from format to format but in this particular case the need for ideation is because as you know there is no shortage of ideas anymore in our world and with the web technology and the internet and more opportunities for us to share with each other information I think there is absolutely no shortage of ideas. However, what has become scarce are, if you notice, new perspectives. Rational, stereotype thinking, I know the answers already, who is not aware about this problem, these are the most common refrain that you hear from most people. But the question is, are we aware about the undercurrents of what causes this? Are there any root cause that we have identified and how do we see, in other words, the same landscape with new eyes and also appreciate others' point of view. Now why does this help? It helps us after this ideation 
to know where and how to invest our attention and resources. And I personally believe that the more we hear multiple perspectives from people with diverse backgrounds, then we are able to go through this formal process of gathering, sharing and analyzing thoughts and perspectives in that group as you see in the slide on your screen at the moment. And because these people come from diverse vocations and experiences, I'm very sure that you will have some new thoughts and processes and questions and awareness that will emerge in the discussion at each round table. So from a distant look, ideation looks very similar to brainstorming. In fact, it is the same family as brainstorming process, except that it does not have any preset problem, idea, or a goal in mind. And therefore, it is almost saying that it needs a much more open mind than you have in a brainstorming session. So the first requirement to ideate is to have an open mind. And for having an open mind, we need to let go of preconceived notions our inclinations and beliefs. And the second one, a bit uh, challenging, but I'm sure that you all can certainly do that, is to be non-judgmental. Because if we are non-judgmental, then we would be able to appreciate and analyze, and at the same time, we can facilitate deeper inquiry. I must caution you that there is very less scope for presenting one's own viewpoint in the ideation event. That is possible when you have a different type of a program, not an ideation one. And therefore, I would like to draw your attention to the slide on your screen which says that what ideation is not. It is not a typical conference in which papers are presented. It is not a typical brainstorming or a problem-solving meeting. It is neither an academic review or discussion nor is it a workshop or a lecture. In a sense, it is a free exchange of perspectives on agreed themes. So what would be the outcome of the ideation event? We expect that each of the panel themes will ideate on the healthcare ecosystem. And by the end of the two rounds of ideation, each panel will be able to highlight these three things that you see on your screen. One, challenges faced by the rural and urban community and of course challenges faced by the healthcare service providers. Similarly focus what could be done to further strengthen the healthcare service and third what kind of opportunities are there which can make us reach to the patients we can reach for better healthcare and we can integrate lots of health service providers so that the benefit of the community is enhanced. We expect that these are going to be outcomes at the end of the two rounds of ideation. Our change ambassadors, Dr. Devinder Singh, with whom we had started this discussion about a year and a half ago, at the King George's Medical University in Lucknow, Dr. Harsh Rastogi, who was in New Delhi, who is the MRI coordinator, and an expert in that line. We have our conference chair officer, Ajay Kumar Singh, who is also the president of AKWL, the chief event organizer, the CEO of this event, Dilip Kumar, who is the secretary of AKWL, and then the executive president of LASIP Society Pavan Kota, and his team, along with Rana Pratap Singh, the executive vice president. I, of course, Rajan Johri will be there with you throughout the program and I will try to ensure that I am able to facilitate the event to make it much more beneficial. We also have the support of many other experts and wonderful people whom I wish to thank right in the beginning itself. Mr. Anand Sinha, who is the senior COO of Sahara Next, Dr. C.B. Thapa from Sahara, Shri C.B. Singh, who is the ex-VP for Tata Devu Motors, a very eminent and esteemed senior professional. Dr. J.V. Singh, who is the Dean of the King George's Medical University. Dr. P.K. Sait, 
who's a former director of the Indian Institute of Toxicology Research and who's currently the CEO of the Biotech Park in Lucknow. Dr. Suraksh Agarwal from the Department of Medical Genetics who works with large communities, she works with population genetics. And the young Dr. Vaibhav Khanna who is currently the senior consultant at Sahara and who is also known for his Smile Train project as its director in India. We have many other people with whom I don't have the names yet but who are very overwhelmingly giving us their support and I wish to thank them as and when when we reach the program we will individually acknowledge their contribution. Meanwhile, on your screen you see the structure of a theme panel. As you notice there is a practitioner of medicine or surgery who is the panel chair. He is supported by a panel chief editor who could be from academics, research or another professional from medicine or surgery. And then we have four panel members consisting of either professors or eminent personalities from other walks of life, maybe a union leader of the chemist association, maybe a very active business professional, maybe a professor, a business person, a media person, lawyers, we are trying to talk to some civil service officers who have the time to be with us, dean of institutes of management, quality, nursing school, and of course are very bright and young, very passionate students from the quality management program in the University of Lucknow and also from biotechnology who have been contributing right from the day one which was 18 months ago until today. Our team advisors, we have some names yet to be announced but some of the key ones as we said before the tables would need to have six members each so we will have for each of the panel 12 members and we're trying to derive from what you see on your screen participation from various segments of the concerned domains. You notice the names, I think some of them will ring a bell in our mind, some of them very well known in the city of Lucknow and also known internationally and I'm looking forward to some other names to be added onto this list as soon as possible. Our great privilege, a blessing for us, indeed our guest of honor at the ideation event. We have been very, very lucky that the most humble and the most esteemed a gentleman, Dr. Mansoor Hassan, who is also a Padmashiri, and a much younger Dr. M. C. Pant, also a Padmashiri, both of them have agreed and consented to be present at our ideation event and we really look forward to their contribution and enrichment to this whole program. Key support for the event, I must say that all the names that you see on the screen, some of the most brilliant and the most committed and passionate young students group I have met. Uh, I'm really, really grateful that Shivangi Verma from CMC Limited is the key anchor for the program. Shivangi is the real force behind getting everybody to diligently pursue our timelines and also what we're trying to achieve. And she's very ably supported by another brilliant person, Preetika Singh from the Quality Management Program. She's also a biotechnologist by her background. A very young and very, very dashing Anya Patak social and community work area. Somebody who's just started a career but I find her very clear about her ideas, Kushpu Shrivastav who will look into the local governance area and in the roundtables, also from Biotechnology Park. And we have Shubhika Rastogi, she's an MBA and she would be helping us in the management and administration and also help us in conducting the roundtables. And she's next to Shivangi in making sure that all of these things are put together. We have Mala Shankar, Mala has been out of India for quite some time. But once she's back, she has been involved in lots of environment and community development programs and very soft-spoken but a wonderful hostess. So I'm looking forward to Mala Shankar's contribution. And then we have the young and the one whom we load with lots of things to get done, who rushes about painting the town red, Nitesh Kumar from Quality Management and ISO expert. And he's going to be helping us in the whole program. 
on the tables, on the floor, and in other ways too. So I'm grateful that these young people are there with us in this ideation event. How will the round tables work? On your screen again, your attention, you will notice that the six panels will focus on the themes that we have said before. They will ideate about the current challenges. They will also ideate about key strategies to respond. They will identify key opportunities available. How do we leverage these opportunities? And also, any additional points that may come up in the course of the ideation. They will be very ably supported by a table editor, a panel editor, who would actually, in a predefined presentation format, record everything that goes on in the panel. It's like the minutes of the panel that will be consolidated. And finally, they will be presented by each panel, 15 minutes each. There will be some time for question and answers. And of course, we are wanting to have our industry leaders to add to the points that we have listed or we will ID it upon. Just a quick overview of the responsibilities of the panel chair. As you notice, it's not only at the event, but it has been before the event and after the event that there are so many things that we are expecting our panel chair to do. And I'm so glad that most of them have really understood what exactly is going to happen. So we are already liaisoning with them. They are networking with others. On the day of the event, they will facilitate the panel. They will ask the right questions, go deeper into a subject, and also help us to keep the time so that in our eagerness and enthusiasm, we don't get distracted into discussion that is not forming part of ideation. So the thin boundary between solution and ideation, we will expect our panel chairs to hold for us. And at the end of it, after the event, when we start refining what we have collected, they will help us to prepare possibly for the larger event, which would be actually a conference. We are expecting to hold that sometime early next year. Similarly, a panel member would be networking with the panel chair already. They've been introduced. Some names are already coming in. We're trying to get to them so that they all are on the same page. They will participate in the ideation event on the day of the event. And finally, as we said in the earlier responsibility of the panel chair, they will work with the panel chair to give us a refined version of what we could do next. Chief Editor, an important responsibility. We are looking for lots of help from our Media Connect and one of our senior media persons. And we would be networking, liaisoning with the panel chair, panel co-chair, panel members. Most importantly, synthesize the views of the panel during the session. Help the panel to develop the presentation. And finally, review the issues that come up in the ideation event. This will actually be a very important responsibility and we are looking forward to some of the best people taking this responsibility up. All the young people and all other people who are participating, there's so many people behind the screen, they are actively working for the past so many weeks. There is a provision for us to recognize them. So all participants who are the younger lot, the researchers and the younger people, they will receive a certificate from LASIB which recognizes this contribution and also awards them some points. And with every roundtable participation, we are expecting that similar roundtable on invitation that we already have with us is likely to happen in Allahabad, Benares, Kanpur, and Meerut. All these roundtables will constitute some kind of an event, but in between, with every participation, they get recognition points, and all these points lead up to a passion for quality award that will be given at the larger conference. In addition, LASIB has been very gracious to give them a one-year professional membership, which is complimentary, and that helps them to keep in touch with the other world leaders who are part of LASIB and with other world conferences which they get connected. If they wish to travel, they're most welcome. Otherwise, they will get connected through the net and they will be able to join a webinar or a live event happening elsewhere in the world. The venue, beautiful picture on your screen. This is Sahara Shahir, where we're going to be holding our ideation event. If you wish to see the Google map, you can please go and link up what you see on the screen. 
the schedule as of today tentative but this is likely to just go changes in terms of the time or maybe a name or two but what you see here is typically what would happen on the day of the event finally in a nutshell I would like to say that I've been very impressed with what one former CEO said that the interest is more in not having the right answers but in thinking about the issues in the right way what kind of criteria do we use why do you think that the way we think we do and why can we change not some of the things that stereotype our minds what kind of alternatives have we considered and what kind of premises do we have with us this is actually in a nutshell the essence of what ideation means your contacts for the event as you notice on the screen these are all the people whom you can meet up with or call them up the numbers and emails are there for you to peruse and finally not the least I would like to thank again Sara and Parivar for making this event successful for us and giving us the support to LASIP the event cannot come to life without the LASIP methodology that we're trying to practice in here and of course the Association of Knowledge Workers who are there with the show and with the event with the program and we hope that we continue working with them for many more years in many more other events to come by thank you for being with me and listening to me and I hope to see you very soon